From the trading desk of dailyforex.com, this is Christopher Lewis looking at the upcoming October 5th non-farm payroll Friday forex session in the euro US dollar. As you can see, I have the trend line drawn that we've been following since the uh, middle of July, essentially. And we've bounced off of it again recently and bounced up above the 130 level. This suggests to me that we've already made up our mind about what's going to happen after non-farm payroll. We broke through a resistance area, and yes, we still are in a bit of a resistance area as well, but with this type of move and the fact that we are closing towards the top of the range definitely tells me that the dollar is going to sell off, and this makes sense. A poor jobs report will have the uh, markets thinking about the Federal Reserve and its never-ending quantitative easing and printing of the dollar, therefore weakening it. So the worse the jobs report, the quicker the other currencies gain. However, if the jobs report's at least somewhat decent, it more than likely might spook the market eventually, but it's only a matter of time before the traders step back in and say, well, hey, the Fed's already talked about uh, quantitative easing until well after the United States enters recovery. So either way, it's going to be quite some time. However, looking at this, one would have to think that the Federal Reserve, since it just announced this unlimited, you know, or some people are calling it QE uh, in perpetuity, the fact is they wouldn't have stated that if there was some type of, uh, you know, signs of, of strength on the horizon and quite frankly uh, they must not have seen them otherwise it would be very odd to see a robust jobs report just a couple weeks later so having said that it looks like the dollar is going to go down and I look at this as an opportunity to buy the euro on pullbacks especially on short-term charts say we get a little bit of a pullback uh, because of the non-farm payroll uh, announcement as long as we're above this trend line I really see no reason to sell and this pair should continue to go higher. If we can get above 133, which is the top of all the noise from previously, we really could start to take off at that point.